is going on guys? Welcome to the video. I'm in South Kensington, about to get some drugs from the Royal Marsden. Sign. Just there for me. <laughs> Thanks there we go. So You're welcome. Cheers. So I've got my meds. I'm still on Zeomorph, Oromorph, Pregablin and yeah that's about it really but yeah got them ready for the weekend I'm, I'm working tomorrow so i definitely needed to pick up some meds for that and that's why i rushed up here today so i figured i'll come home and just chill before work tomorrow because let's be honest i need to relax for work don't i let's see what this is then with a metal pole very interesting i'm very lucky that i get get it what? <laughs> <laughs> no way! Nando's thing! To Emily, thank you for being a loyal customer. And it's from everyone at Nando's. <laughs> so lovely. So after getting my uh, little Nando stick through the post and my card from all the Nando's people, I feel obliged to go and get Nando's. No, I'm joking. I actually wanted Nando's. She's in town. So I literally got in and now I'm going out again to go get Nando's. Tomorrow I'm getting the train at like six in the morning to go to work, so it's gonna be a long old day, but hopefully I'll be able to nap on the train so I can like get some more energy back in my system then. Yeah, hopefully. And if it's as glorious as today, I'll be a happy girl because this weather is divine. <laughs> way too dark. This footage needs to be in the office. My office has good lighting. So guys, what is going on? It's Friday night, I have finished work, and I am so happy and so proud of myself for one, completing work, two, getting the train on my own, because that's just a big deal because it's like an hour and a half away on the train. I could have any funny turn within one and a half hours. And I feel fucking brilliant. I feel motivated. I feel like I, I feel like I was meant to go to work today. And I didn't feel didn't feel weak throughout the whole day. I just feel amazing for being back at work and I feel the whole depressed mood that I've been battling all week has just gone zoop. Gone. I'm so appreciative of my clients for working so hard. Like they, I motivate them, but in return, they motivate me a hell of a lot more than actually I motivate them. So all I do is say, come on, one more rep. But really, their motivation is a hell of a lot deeper than what I give them. So thank you so much. Love you. My poor neighbours. What is going on, you lot? We are going to Shoreditch today with Aisha. <laughs> So I had work yesterday, I had a little clip yesterday, um, there was a little clip last night of me talking about work, went so well, woke up this morning, you know, I wasn't sure what we were going to do, we kind of thought like, you know what, we'll just leave it and see, you know, what we feel like doing, how much energy I've got, and I woke up feeling fine, so I want to do Shoreditch, so we're going to do Shoreditch, and we're going to have a breakfast. How exciting, you excited Aisha? Oh, look at him go. Jesus Christ. That is what you call pace. Yeah, we're going to go see the minutes. Thank you. Yeah. I've been um, somewhere in London that Aisha doesn't know. So far, it looks pretty cool around here. I mean, that is what I like to see water on the table already. So, apparently, it's called a tendant. Oromorph is needed. I, I think I twanged my hip when we got excited about seeing donut time. So this morning I weighed in at, te what was it, 11.11? 11. 
two pound loss in two days. I need to get that back on. So we had all that food and now we're ordering another round. I should choose between toast or avocado on toast. So we're getting both for round two. Have you learned any lesson? <laughs> This place is actually amazing. I hope I can actually catch the vibe on camera, but I'm not sure. Because it's like quite hard to film. This is quite small, but it's amazing. But after this, we're going to talk about the last video and everything like that, and explore a bit of Shoreditch, and maybe wander down to Brick Lake. So apparently, we're quite close. I'm not sure. Are we close? Look, look. He's amazing. Literally, we had a wonky table. He sorted it out without us even asking. He's on it. I'm actually in shock. Well, two. I'm, I can't believe it. Stressful chocolate shop ever. Come on, they crack open. But really cool. They have like, I don't know, don't it's know. just like chunks of chocolate basically. So we are just, uh, that's what it is. Don't know. It's expensive, but on Saturdays we have fuck it mode, as you know. But um, the last video, guys, went up obviously last night. The reaction on it is mega. There's like 2,000 views on it already. Is there? There's loads and loads of views on it already. I'm sorry about the title, but I was really depressed, really depressed all week. Oh, wow. Get in the frame, babe. She avoids the frame. Um, no, I but, just like the food. Well, I think what happened was... The me from Liz, even though she's really nice. I mean, Liz is amazing, but and when, when someone tries to, you know, when you have to discuss your end-of-life care and all the things that are, that are available to you because you're dying, it is a really big reminder of the situation that you're in. And I think the apprehension of next week is killing me. It's absolutely... It's making me so nervous that, that I couldn't I couldn't get out I couldn't get it out of my head at all and I, and obviously I was just at home and whatever but I tell you what going to work was the best thing I ever did and yeah I had to get the train down there which was a risk it was a long day and I had to get the train home because I just had work commitments I feel bad no but it's, it happens you know if you've got a, if you've got a high you, not well if you've got a good job you need to. You need to be at people's beck and... Oh, you better not be doing that up. I want to try the honeycomb one. I think as well, because you spend, we spend so much time not being defined by cancer that when yeah. you are defined by him, yeah. in meetings like that, it's really hard. We, avo we, we don't avoid it because it is the fact, you know, I should get upset every now and again. But, yeah, it was just hard. And also, watching Pee Wee Toms, I think he's called Dan, I think, reminded me of the situation I'm in. Because he's going for a really shit time at the minute. Oh and I God. thought, wow. He's going for a really shit time at the minute. And I think, you know, we might meet up. I'm not sure. I need to get in contact with him. But he sounds like a sound guy. And, and um, watching his vlogs reminded me, oh, my God, this is the situation that I'm in. This is the reality that I'm in. And we are very close. We could be very close to, the, like, the end of our life. So, so when I do feel good, like, today... It's really important we actually just fucking go for it. Do you, do you, am I talking sense? Yeah, you are, but I do really care, but can you just show the camera the honeycomb in this? So I, I picked up this honeycomb one. Oh my That's God! That's what I was saying. Well, it tips out. Because it's real honeycomb. I can't. Shavings. Oh. Okay, babe. Don't hold it there. Oh my God. Wow. Can I try a bit? You can have it. Oh. Oh my God. Next one. <laughs> there you are. What one's this one? Truffle. Right, have you tried this? Yeah, I've tried them all. Nice? Mm, yeah. Strong. Oh, it's like, it's like pure cocoa. Mm. White chocolate. My last one to try. Honeycomb is the best ever. What is that place called? Dark sugars. Oh, yeah, did I get a nougat one? Did I pick yeah. one? Okay, have you eaten that? I don't know. 
She's eating my new cup one. But yeah, so we're gonna keep exploring Brick Lane and live our lives. I think Aisha hates me seeing me depressed as well, so I was trying to cover it up last week. I did say to her, I did text her like, oh, I'm really struggling, didn't I? But I was very low. Don't really, you know, I, I think now I realise. Do you think I've done a good job achieving you up today? Mm. Yeah. Woke up and she said, how are you feeling? I said, good. She said, right, we're going to Shoreditch. And I was like, yeah, all right then. Amazing. Next week's a big week, but fuck it. I'm not keen on this one. Try this one. It's amazing. Oh! See you in the next clip. Aisha, do you think, uh, Aisha doesn't, she doesn't even know what she's queuing for, but she decides that if there's a queue, she's got a queue. So, it's got, it must be good. What is it called? Be Beagle Bake? Brick Lane Bakery. So we found a food court thing. Wow. I mean, I'm not even hungry. But this is too good. Wow. What is it? Chicken pow something. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm now officially so full, but here you go. She wants you. What is this one? What do you think of that? Oh my god, that's like that is like Narnia in there. That is literally Narnia. <laughs> Every single summer we tried was amazing. I'm not even hungry. But I had to just get it because I was like, you know what, you're not gonna find this in it, you're not gonna find this like most places, so in did it. You could literally go in there and just eat off the free samples. Mm. Obviously we didn't. But. And it is the Brick Lane food hall. I'm not sure if it's on every day, I'm sure they'll tell you online. But now we're gonna look for the Brick Lane vintage market. Okay, so, let me get so we're just gonna grab I think a drink and then head back. But I managed to snag a jumper, a leopard print jumper from a guy starting up a company called Busy. Busy? I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Thumbs up to that. <laughs> you just hey, I'm not. Where are we? <laughs> this is not. <Narnia. laughs> It's quite good to take someone on a date here. Yeah, this is your kind of date. Yeah. Tea and cake. Hold on. I, I, I get why you're stressed. I think I'm stressed as well, so deep down. What if they say? What if, okay, so what if they say? Oh, I'm stressed. Yeah. 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 Then they'll be, they might say, but so we're going to put you on a trial, or we're going to give you this. They'll, they'll be, another, they should be another option. And even if there's not, we'll just have to live our life like we're living. That's all we can do. Like at the end of the day, we're not wasting a moment, are we? When you're feeling down, you've just got to remember how much we live our lives how we want to live them like we, we surround ourselves with good people we do it we make sure we're doing stuff we have a healthy lifestyle we have we put good karma into the world like we'll just carry on doing that and if it means you get a shorter time then you get a shorter time but you know just because it's not working in the first two months it doesn't mean that it won't work in the next two months you just don't know like we don't even know it's not like a 
supply shop or a food shop, we don't know what's available. So yeah, they're telling us that this dose is the only thing that's available. But suddenly, you know, if they realise it's not working, they might say, oh, actually, we do have a stronger dose or we could give you this with it. You don't know. And that is probably the worst thing, not known. But the thing is as well, positive is you've got a, a hospital appointment from Stanmore because they were saying that they weren't going to give you one because it was basically no hope but obviously that, that hope comes from somewhere if now they're, they're do, giving you one because there's no way they're going to drag you to the hospital and then go there's nothing we can do there's obviously some sort of option that they're thinking of I mean that was a good little spot to have some tea wasn't it babe? Amazing so um, apparently they're it's, it's like to do with royalty and stuff. God knows, I don't know. Apparently it's pretty plush. Brad Pitt was there last week. <laughs> Random. Anyway, so we're gonna head back now. I just gotta go and meet her friend so they can go to the opera. So I'll see y'all in the gym. I hope you like the footage, by the way, of ever of ever thang. See you in the gym, guys. See, say, say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> say bye. Bye. See you at the gym. Girl just asked me for advice and I love it. I just really love it. I love giving out help and stuff. She was um, asking about whey protein. I might cover that in my next video actually. But yeah, look, I just wanted to make this video about getting over the de depressing moments and like, you know, cancer's about tunnels, hills and climbs and whatever. And uh, I just want, I just wanted to do a video to show that I'm through it now. I'm through it. I had a really shit week. Work's helped me. Aisha's helped me. Family, friends have helped me. Um, so thank you and thank you for all the people commenting on my YouTube channel. I love you so much. I really do. Um, here's to a big week ahead. I'll see you in the next vlog. I love you lots. Peace.